I want to show you how to use the training materials within Achieve 3000 um, to provide your own professional development and training with this product. Um, I don't usually recommend these kind of things, but Achieve 3000 really does have terrific built-in training modules um, that will help you between workshops or if you want to attend another workshop and feel like you could learn this on your own. Um, it's a really great way to do that. It even provides you with a way to track what you have completed and a certificate so that you can basically prove that you've been doing some training on your own. Uh, really great for those evaluation things. So teachers, when you log in to Achieve 3000, your screen may look a little different than mine. It just depends on your account and what grade level you're set for. Um, I'm set as an administrator, so I'm seeing some different things on mine than you might see on yours. But regardless of, of how your page looks exactly, you should see this training and support link up here at the top. And I can click the little arrow, little triangle next to that. Oh, sorry, click on the words. And I'm going to click on Visit the Learning Center. So when you go there, um, what you're going to see are these learning paths. This right here is, is where you want to go into, and we've got some listed here. I'm going to click on Learning Paths, um, and I have two listed. And again, your screen may look a little different. You may have some different options than what I have, and that may change over time because Achieve 3000 does add things um, over the time, too. So what we can do is go into one of these learning paths. Let's say I want to learn some things about Lexiles and how Achieve 3000 uses its level set and adjust those Lexiles as it goes. So I can enter this learning path and I have these different lessons that I need to complete. Um, definitely would recommend you go in in chronological order, although you might feel like you can skip some things. Maybe you don't need to see all of um, these things like perhaps the note to administrators. Um, over here you can see what I've completed. So if it has 0%, I haven't entered it at all. These two I've already done. So if you leave this learning center, it will mark your progress through these learning paths um, as long as you're marking those as you go. So here's where I'm at. I'm in Lexiles and Level Set. And if I open this up, you know, I basically have a module created here and it has instructions. It has a file for me to open. Oftentimes these are little video tutorials. They're extremely well done, in my opinion. Um, so definitely worth looking at. Sometimes it's a PDF document or something you can print. Um, but when I have read this and opened this and completed it, I'm going to mark this as complete and then I can move on to the next item. Now, of course, you could cheat your way through that, but then you wouldn't be learning anything, just like the students. Um, and so I can work my way through that whole path. When I'm done, plus Achieve 3000 doesn't like let you get away with that anyway. When I'm done, um, let me close this out here. There's a survey for me to complete um, that gives them some feedback, but then there's also a quiz. And it'll only be after I have successfully completed that quiz on what I learned in these lessons that I will be able to go here and view a certificate that I have completed um, to show that I've trained in Achieve 3000 in those particular levels. So um, not only can you um, earn some, some evaluation points here, but also it really is truly a helpful tool in helping you understand how to use Achieve 3000. And of course, you can always send questions to me of things that you don't understand or that um, the Learning Center doesn't help you with, or if you just don't have time to go through those and you just want to ask me a question, that's fine too, of course. In the resources section, they have some really, really great tools in here um, where you can bring up things. Let's say you want to do a lesson on sequencing. I can click on this. It's downloading. And I can't. Let's see if I can get to it here. There we go. Um, so here's a document that Achieve 3000 is providing. It's a PDF. Um, that this one happens to be a teacher guide, but I have also found um, like Microsoft Word documents that students can actually fill in and complete um, as a work like a, a working diagram. So, really great resources at your fingertips here. Definitely want to take some time to explore what it has to offer. Again, you're going to want to go. I'll just show you one more time. From your main screen, you get when you log in. You're going to go to training and support and then visit the Learning Center. Here's also a link for contacting customer support if you feel that 
um, there's something that's not working properly or if you need an urgent answer um, you may be able to get a hold of one of them especially if I may not be available on a particular day. Don't forget to send me your questions.